Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another little instalment today on uh, carving a cup from a branch. Uh, now this has been slowly drying out in my workshop for a good couple of weeks now um, and as hopefully you can see here um, it's dried out particularly well, um, they've got no splits, no cracks um, which is uh, got to be a first for me on a first attempt um, and it's come out quite nicely um, what you may just be able to see is just inside here you've got a little black mark and there's a corresponding one there um, now I think some sort of woodworm while it was still a branch has got into that um, you probably can't see it there because the light's not coming from the right way uh, in fact let me grab a torch that will do um, so hopefully you can see I'm not sure if that's picking up well enough on the camera there to be perfectly honest but uh, there is a hole going right through this bowl um, it is what it is and when I come to do my uh, my finish on it it shouldn't be too much of an issue because um, what will happen is the the beeswax that I use will go into the hole um, and it should form a, a fairly good seal um, now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time um, I've tidied this up a little bit um, just with my knife um, and a, a spoon knife inside just to get rid of some of the, the bigger sort of gouges um, and I'm just going to spend a little bit of time with some sandpaper um, just going over this just starting to smooth it down ready for finishing um, and what I'll do I'll, I'll spend a little bit of time on that and I'll come back and show you uh, how we're getting on Right then guys, well that's the first uh, light sanding done. Hopefully you can see well enough on the camera here sort of what the result is that we're getting. Um, you know, I personally I think it looks quite nice. Uh, most of the tool marks are out now, certainly from the outside. Uh, inside there's still a few persistent ones and I may well actually leave a couple of those in to be honest. Um, I'll, I'll, see, uh, I'll see how I feel as we, as we get along with it. Um, but that's now nice and smooth. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this back into its plastic bag overnight. Um, I just want to see uh, how much, if any, moisture tries to come through this overnight or not. Um, now that I'm giving it a first sand. Um, and what I'll do, I'll cut here, I'll come straight back to this um, tomorrow and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at how we're getting on. Right then guys, so through the magic of editing we have now moved forward about 18 hours um, and I've, been, I've left this overnight. Um, with the sort of the first sanding done, just to make sure nothing has seeped through, there's no more moisture in there, and hopefully this is picking up well enough to see that nothing has come through, um, top, bottom, round the sides, inside, um, is still nice and fresh from where I sanded it. Um, I'm also really pleased that some of this, um, you know, the grain and the um, sporting, um, hopefully you can see that on there, sort of around this area especially, um, has picked up, which is really nice. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, so all I'm going to do now, very quickly, is just run through some of the sandpaper grades. Um, I was using an 80 grit yesterday. I've got a 180, a 220 and a 320, which is what I do with most of my woodwork, just to give it a really nice smooth finish. Um, once I've finished that, what I'm going to do is I'll nip that indoors. I'll give it a warm oil coating just to give it some protection before I put the wax finish on. Um, and then I'll cut back to here. We'll do a final wax finish. Um, and that should be this, um, this cup ready to go. Right then guys, so that's now uh, the final sanding and the oiling done. Um, I actually went with an almond oil because um, it's, it's a lighter oil and it helps picks out the grain a little bit. Um, and hopefully you can see here on the camera, you know, it's, it's a little bit darker but it has kept a lot of its um, sort of natural look if you like. Um, the spalting, especially sort of these areas here, has come up really, really well. A um, little bit darker inside, which I find always happens with sort of bowls, um, spoons, cups, that kind of thing, and also on the base. Um, and that's just more to the grain in there. Um, but that's now essentially done. Um, the oil finish will protect it um, as I wanted it to. However, um, what I am gonna do very, very quickly is just throw on a, um, a quick coating of my beeswax finish. just need to uh, melt through here and what that's going to do is just give it a really really nice sheen um, a really good shine just get that melt 
mounted. And generally, it will, it will just basically protect the bowl um, from any kind of liquid, be that hot liquid, cold liquids, or whatever that I'm going to put in there. Do. And again, you've seen this before in my other videos. All I'm going to do is take a nice clean cloth um, and just sort of generously wipe that in and around just so I get a good layer on there. And then once that's finished, I'll, uh, I'll buff that off. So what I'll do, I'll probably just quickly fast forward through this footage, guys, um, just so you don't sit here you know, having to watch me do this, which is not the most interesting of subjects. Um, I'll come back and I'll show you once the finish is applied. We'll buff it off quickly, and then this cup is ready to go. So there we go guys, didn't take long at all. Again, hopefully this picks up clearly enough on the camera for you. There's quite a thick layer of beeswax over this. Um, doesn't take very long to penetrate at all, and I, I, I can buff this off kind of right now if I want to, which I probably will do in a second. Um, but that's just giving it another protective coating. Um, and as I say, it will help it um, you know, buff up to a really high sheen. And all I'm gonna do is take another piece of cloth, uh, make sure it's something sort of lint-free so you're not getting bits all over it. Um, and then just very, very sort of carefully just buff off all the excess wax, uh, which is what I'll do now. And what you'll be left with is a really nice sort of high shine finish. And there you go guys, that's it, that literally is that simple. Um, and what we're left with is a really nicely finished piece of wood. Inside's looking particularly nice. Um, you've got some really nice sporting just up here, which I really like in this kind of woodwork. Um, and again on the outside as well. And the, the beeswax just helps to, uh, to give it a little bit of a, a high sheen. The, um, sorry about the plane going overhead guys. Um, that little hole that I showed you uh, earlier, that's now been completely full of not only a little bit of sawdust from when I was sanding it, um, but also the beeswax either side as well. Um, and just before I finish up this video guys, I thought it, you know, it would be extremely rude not to give this a test run. Um, so I bought um, a little bit of uh, my favorite tipple out. Um, and I figured we'll just have a, a little bit in here. So just to sort of almost prove a point if you like guys, um, there it is, just sitting in there nicely. It's doing absolutely no damage to that wood whatsoever. Um, you know, that's what these things are designed for. That's, uh, that's why I've made it, that's, that's my kind of chosen uh, use for it if you like. It'll be a, uh, a sort of cup for spirits, but uh, I could just as happily put um, coffee, tea, in any kind of liquid you like in there. Um, but I hope it was useful, guys. Um, comments and questions in the box below. Happy to answer any queries you might have. Um, hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers, guys.